Pay attention to this video because you might have been fed lies literally with some of the foods you've been eating. In this video, we are exposing foods that are not what it makes appear to be. Some of these foods are quite popular in the food industry and all along they have been a lie on what is called, how it is made, and what you have been eating could have been something else completely. Make sure to stick around to the end of the video because you need to see what makes last on this list. We have a lot to cover, so before we get into it, smash on the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. It is important to click on the bell icon to be notified of our new video uploads every week. Share this video with someone you care about. And let's get right to the video. Number 1. White Tuna This one will piss off all the sushi lovers out there. Tuna is one of the top ingredients used in sushi and one of the most popular. What if I was to tell you that your favorite tuna sushi roll you've been eating all these years might not be tuna at all? According to a study done by a nonprofit organization called Oceana in 2013, it was found that the mislabeling of tuna was amongst the highest of all seafoods. The study revealed that grocery stores label their tuna correctly about 82% of the time, whereas restaurants that serve sushi scored about 62%. But the sushi restaurants that sold only sushi had only a 26% success ratio. It was found that there's another type of fish called escalar was the fish that was most commonly used to pass off as tuna in this deception. But the deception wasn't bad enough. Escalar is a fish that is known to cause various issues with digestion. In New York City, every time we ordered white tuna, we got something entirely different, usually a fish called escolar, sometimes referred to as the Exlax fish, because it can be hard to digest and cause intestinal problems. Escolar is banned in Japan and Italy. It happened at Ariyoshi Restaurant in New York City. If you would like to see more detailed video explaining about how tuna mislabeling and even reports of tuna being dyed to look redder using carbon monoxide, make sure to leave your requests in the comments below. Remember, the more requests, the more likely of a next video. Number 2. Wasabi With all this talk about sushi, it is a perfect transition to the next one on our list, wasabi. Wasabi is one of the most popular condiments to be served with sushi. But whether the wasabi is actually real is even more questionable as the tuna itself. In this article by the Washington Post, probably up to 99% of the wasabi in North America are fake. And yes, that does include the wasabi served at your favorite sushi restaurant. Root wasabi paste comes from grating the wasabi's plant stem, a plant that is native to Japan and is a lot more expensive. The fake wasabi that you have been fed based on lies is a far cheaper alternative made from a mixture of horseradish, cornstarch, mustard flour, and even worse, green food colorant. Real wasabi is also not spicy, whereas the fake one has a strong burning sensation on the tongue. Sal, watch the green stuff. It's wasabi, it's like mustard, gives it a real kick. Ooh, I love mustard. Speaking of wasabi, check out these cute authentic Japanese condiment sauce plates from Musubi Kilin made only in Japan for premium quality. Number 3. The blueberry in your sweet treats is most likely a lie. This deception is normally used on commercially sold baked goods such as blueberry muffins, bagels, and cereals. According to HuffPost, some might contain some small bits or even particles of blueberry, but most are simply sugar and core syrup shaped to resemble the size of a berry and dyed with food coloring to resemble a blueberry. When consumers buy blueberry cereals, muffins, and mixes, they're under the impression that they're buying real blueberries. No ordinary consumer realizes they're actually buying blue coloring chemicals mixed with hydrogenated oils and liquid sugars. That's why this common industry practice of faking the blueberries is so deceptive. Best thing to do is to check the labeling to see if any real blueberry fruits are used instead of those chemicals you can't even pronounce or just bake your own blueberry treats using the real fruit. Number 4. Scallops Before you order scallops at the fancy restaurant, you better listen to this. There's a possibility you've been eating lies and duped for your money, paying that hefty price tag for what you think is scallops, but the reality is far from it. In actuality, many of these so-called scallops are known as fishku 
because it derives from surimi, which is a gelatinous paste made from fishes such as pollock, along with added starch, sugar, artificial flavors, and preservatives. With this deception complete, it is then shaped and cut to resemble a scallop that is sold to clueless customers who think they are buying premium scallops. A way to identify fakes is by doing a sniff test. Scallops are not supposed to smell fishy, but instead they are supposed to have a sweet seaweed aroma. According to Dr. David Friedman, who also appeared on the Inside Edition clips covering this deceiving food practices more in detail in his book Food Sanity. It's the surimi fish paste. So it's a bunch of goo that's shaped like a scallop to fool you. So how do you know if you're getting the real deal if you're ordering scallops? You can trust your eyes and your nose. So you want to visualize it. If you see that they're exactly the same size like hockey pucks, that's fake. It should be irregular. And the other thing is you want to do is the sniff test. Number five. Some bugs might end up in your food unintentionally when left uncovered, but what happens if the bugs are intentionally put in your food? Well that is what some food companies are doing with foods that contain red dyes and it's hardly common knowledge. So if the thought of eating bugs terrify you, chances are you might have done so many times already. One of the most commonly used red food colorings known as carmine is made from crushed bugs. These bugs are called cochineal and native to Latin America and now actually farmed in countries like Peru just to use for the red food coloring. When these insects are crushed, it produces a red powder-like substance and with a little bit of a water, it turns into a red dye. You will be surprised at how much this buck dye is being used on foods that have red colors such as strawberry yogurt or red jello, even Starbucks strawberry and cream frappuccino and Tropicana's grapefruit juice and even some cosmetics but that's a whole other topic. Let us know if you'd like to see a video on this by the way. Crawly critters, millions of them. Big business to the food industry. And it's hard to fathom that this bug called the cochineal beetle is inside everything from yogurt to ice cream to tomato sauce, juices, candy, makeup, and more. It has absolutely no nutritional value. And shockingly, food companies have no legal obligation to tell you you're eating bugs. But it's far more complicated than that. In some cases, this bug juice can cause life-threatening allergies, according to a physician at the University of Michigan. Now how do you know the food is using this bug dye? Well, check the back of the labels for something that says, colored with carmine, carminic acid, and cochineal extract. If you see that, then bug juice is on the menu. Number 6. I've heard of the saying that goes, why would I pay for drinking water when I can get it from the sink for free? Well, I would say that the whole point of buying drinking water is because consumers don't feel comfortable drinking tap water and want water that comes from a different, cleaner water source. Or so we think it does. According to this article by ABC News, back in 2007, Aquafina's water bottles will have to be more transparent with the labeling with something that says PWS, which stands for Public Water Source. The water undergoes a filtration process before hitting the shelves as bottled water. Many people including myself weren't even aware of this. Sometimes the packaging makes it look like it comes from a fresh spring somewhere in the mountains when in fact it's the same water you get from opening your sink. About half of all bottled water, including leading brands Dasani and Aquafina, is tap water that's been purified. A marketing triumph. Thank you for watching the video to the end. Many of our subscribers have been telling us that they really enjoy and they binge watch our food topic videos. So now we have created two playlists. One is all our food videos related to food and the other playlist is for all our other videos. That way you can binge watch on all your favorite Genius Tomato videos while you're cooking, cleaning, exercising or even sleeping. If you like this video, the biggest thing you can do for us to share the video, smash the like button, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Until then, stay informed and Genius Tomato out.